see right there where it already has some lead on there? I see. A lead pencil, this is about the only way we can get lead. What this does, it just helps the string glide over the bridge. Okay. Okay, you take that. Now, what I'm going to do is get this G-string through that hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like sewing. It's like sewing. And I'm going to just have it poke through, let's see. And oh. it's turning towards you. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to look and see the uh, how much it's poking through the hole. Mm. Now, how much have I got? It? Yeah, that's good. Oh, so and then, oh, now away from you. Yes. And what I'm going to try to do is get most of the G string on this side of that string so that every time we tune the G string, it doesn't affect this okay. one. And, and that should be on still. Well, yeah, they always pop off, you know, but uh, we know it fits because we already tried it, and I'm doing that. Now, the thing is, with a brand new string, you don't want to get it all the way up to pitch immediately because you'll just break the thing, mm -hmm. and so it has to stretch. Mary Lou, play your G. Well, it's there, but I'm just going to hold it there. I'm not going to try to tighten it yet. Now it, it's stretched and well under pitch already. Wow. Now, I had tuned the other three, but there's nothing holding the bridge up. It's just the pressure of the strings. And right. So one, one string is off, and you put it on. Everything else the bridge, is a little. The fishtails. Okay, Mary Lou, how about a G? Okay, now that's going to, well, let's see if the pig's going to stay. Now how about a D? Play it again. Explain when you tighten, do you make it sharp, and when you loosen, you make it flat, or yeah. does that is that a correlation? Okay, that's it. Yeah. Sharp, okay. With any kind of string or wire, the tighter it's going to be, the higher it's going to mm -hmm. be in pitch. Okay. And you know what? I think I'm going to just change the 